Hey guys, thank you for checking out Bucked Up. Just before we start, I would love if you'd hit the subscribe button, like, share the video. We have new episodes coming out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And starting in the new year, check out Wrapped Up exclusively on Vivo. This episode is sponsored by Exotic Roots Hydro, which I have to give a huge shout out to. They are a huge supporter of the podcast, and I'm really happy to be working with them. If you're ever in Rochester, New York, and you need to learn about any of your hydroponic needs, go to their shop. You can follow them at Exotic Roots Hydro on Instagram. Shout out their whole team. They have an amazing venue space. Uh, they're going to be putting on tons of events. Just make sure to follow Exotic Roots Hydro on Instagram. And if you're ever in Rochester, definitely stop by. Let's get back into it. It was at this moment that he knew. He bucked up. Now he fucked 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 up. Now you have fucked up. I was like, yo, they got a Wu-Tang-like following. This is a cult following. I'm seeing vinyl selling out. This is like six years ago. Mm -hmm. And one of my homies that I worked with at the time was like, yo, you know what? A fan page would be a good idea. I'm like... Not a bad idea, but I've always been the type of person to, you know, make CDs and of, of like exclusive music and give it out to my homies and like, yo, you got to listen yeah. to this, to put people on. So, you know, I kind of fell out of love with rap music to a degree. Like, think about it. Before Griselda, there really wasn't anything, you know, to be proud of. If you're from New York and you like that golden era, there yeah. wasn't nothing. And is that all you listen to? No, oh, no, I listen to everything, to be honest with you. Shout out to Just Herm. We, we listen to every genre that's possible. All right, um, cool. Like, I, I can't even put it in a box. I, I, I was listening to the Bee Gees this morning. Yeah, yeah. You know but I, mean? I meant in rap, like... In rap? No, I, listen, I, I, I would be lying to you if I said that's it. I, I do push-ups to King Von. Okay. Like, you know what I mean? All right. Like, it, yeah, it yeah. is what All it right. is. I don't, no, I, I, don't, feel you. I don't just... But I'm before not, Griselda, it was like, there was a void missing. Well, that's the thing. Like, most... There's, there's fans that, like, hate certain production styles and shit. They really want Griselda to stay on the boom bap, dusty beats, you know? Yeah. Drumless beats, like... I love Burn the Proof. Like, you know I, I mean? do too. Okay, I'm happy you said that. I That's one it. of my favorites. The new Nas yeah. album is all. I just called him an hour ago. I was like, yo, you got to hear this new Nas album. That shit was crazy. That I don't, was... I don't like, look at it like that. Me personally, I like I like Uncle Murda. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a huge 50 Cent fan. Yeah. I like French Montana. People cruise. If I, if I you know, they're going to probably comment and be like, what the fuck? I like French Montana. When I heard. So you, you know, liked uh, Plugs I Met too? I did. Yeah. I did like Plugs I Met too. Don't get me wrong. Like, this obviously. um. People that, like, uh, as far as, like, French Montana, there's things he does I don't like, but I like, you know, Harry Fraud music. I like Harry Fraud production. So yeah. that's why I'm a huge fan of Plugs I Met, too, because Harry Fraud is in my top three producers of that's all surprising. time. That's surprising. That's surprising. You hear that? You said uh, Uncle Murda. That's did you favorite. hear that, the, the track he did with E <clears throat> and off OT's project, I that did. new one? I did. I love that I fucking love song. Too. That's he's, maybe my favorite song off the project. super slept on, man. Yeah. But, you know, like, when every time he works with Benny or Conway, like, I run straight to that track. On, you know, I'm, a, I'm a fan of him. Yeah. But uh, that's the thing, though. I don't just listen to Griselda, and I don't just want them to rap on certain type of beats, like, Benny signing the, de the Def Jam and doing certain things with his career, that's that's dope to me. I fuck with it, too, because yeah. that's what, like, I think people think I'm going to be stuck. But I like everything. Like, shit, yeah. I was wearing, I probably shouldn't have done this, but I was wearing my Three-Eyed Hitler shirt oh, to a man. Playboy Cardi concert oh, the man. other day. <laughs> no one's got to My man wore that shit to the show once we took a picture. Yeah, I said, but like, I said, yo, you I'm don't have not, to cover that up. Yeah, but I'm like white as shit and I'm not I'm not Jewish. Like, so there's yeah, no yeah. point in me wearing the fucking Hitler shirt. Well, that's the only time I think I'll ever wear it in a, public. It's a, it's a black Hitler, too. Black Hitler, so. yeah. But that's that's so hard. It's so hard. It's so hard. That's I'm honestly, there's something about that third eye paleo shit that just does it for me. It's I, crazy. I love it. I like the third eye shit. Like, you know, I'm yeah. like, I'm all into that, like, yeah. DMT fucking yeah, third I eye shit. I've yeah. been watching all your episodes. I, I watched, that means uh, a lot, man. Thank I watched you. this. I was last night watching the screw tape joint from the, in the record store. My, that man, one my man Just told me to tap into that one. Um, Had you known Screw Tape before that? Yeah, from my friend Just. He sees him around like the neighborhood in Philly. Like, yeah. he's really outside, like just hanging out on on the block. Like, yeah, he's very obtainable. So, he put me on I, his one of his albums. I got downloaded on my phone. I like that. But um, I don't even mean for people to get personal on this shit. Like, I listen back and I'm like, I'm not even asking super personal questions. You, you said it's it. So you, you said it to to uh, who was it? Me fucks. You said to him. It's not an interview, it's a conversation. Yeah. And that's kind of like, 
watching that, I was like, okay, because you know, when when you asked me to come on, I'm like, yo, I never been interviewed before, so I started watching some more because I've seen your episodes, but I was like, let me watch a little more because I want to know what, what, what the yeah, fuck yeah. I'm gonna be asked possibly, but it's just a conversation. It just a conversation. That. When was the first time you heard Griselda? First time I heard Griselda was at my man's wedding. This is probably six six years ago, maybe even more, and he showed me Hitler won. The same one who told me told you to start the fan page. No, different, different guy, different, different guy. And he um he showed me that. And I ain't, I ain't even gonna lie, man. Listen, Wes is an acquired taste. I tell people all the time. It took me a little bit yeah. to get into like, him. Too, I tell yeah. people all the time, like, you know, you could hear Benny and Conway right off the bat. It's just you fall in love. You gotta understand where Wes is coming from. He goes over a lot of people's heads with his style, his delivery, his bars. It's, you know, but. Uncle Murda, Cormega, French Montana, some of my favorite artists, the first time I heard them, I wasn't in love with it. Those are crazy artists for you to name as your favorite artists. I don't it, think I would have. I, I would say <laughs> outside of Griselda, yeah. I love 50, Uncle Murda, French. Uh, Cormega's probably my favorite, though. Out of oh, all of them. really? Oh, man. That's the, that's the most underrated to ever do it. Yeah. But that with, verse he had on Lulu's one of my things. <laughs> when I saw it, I was so happy to see that they, they work together. But yeah. when going back to what you said about West... You know, my man showed it to me, and I remember, I'll never forget hearing it. I was like, what the, f I saw Hitler on the, I was like, what the fuck you got going on there? I was like, uh, like, what is this? Because my man listens to super underground, like, rap music. Yeah. So, like, not all that shit's for me. I'm not into a lot of that lyrical miracle shit, to be honest. Okay, all to right. To be honest with you, I'm not into none of it, to be honest with you. <laughs> Oh, really? Yeah. I like that shit. Like, I was about to yeah. name off some artists. Nah, like, like, that's not for me. That's not, that's yeah. not what I really rock with like that. I, I like my rappers to be, you know... Sell, selling drugs, shooting people. You know what I mean? I mean, I, I hate to sound, I'm just joking around, but I'm not joking. That's the, like, yeah, that's, that's the, what I like. Yeah. I like that hardcore fucking real shit. Yeah. And you gotta be authentic. 100%. Like, I don't wanna hear, you know, some person that you could just tell. You could, you could tell. You 100%. Could tell. You could 100%. tell who's, who's out here just talking and who's, who's really about it. And, you know, that's something with Wes, it didn't click at first. Fast forward a couple months, I started hearing a little more and then. I heard Conway separately. I heard Benny separately. All before I even realized that they all are family. And oh, really? Yeah. And then my man, the same guy who recommended we we start a fan page, um, you know, he's the one who like was like, "Yo, they're cousins and they're brothers." I was like, "What the fuck is going on here?" And I heard West on a uh, Tom Ford socks, mm -hmm. and I was like, "Okay, that's and that's really when it, it turned around for me with West. Like when I heard him there and." and I think he's the one of the illest to ever do it point blank period right now. I agree. I honestly agree. He's probably because I've always liked that high pitch nasally voice. Yeah. Like people hate on me, yeah. but I love Wayne. Like and oh. not the like I like Wes's voice. It took me a little bit to get into it, but he's my favorite musically. Now, saying that Beloved was the first track I ever heard. That's a good track to hear though. That's a good track. Salute dude. Me was the first Conway song that really did it for me. Really? Yeah, when I heard that when I heard him say uh riding around with the the Tommy and to get my power Tommy and the ghost to get my power back, I was like, yeah. Oh my god, who the fuck is this guy? Yeah, I uh when I heard salute off of Hitler too, mm. when he's just naming off yeah. everyone, that shit's like honestly, he doesn't even need to rap. Like him just naming off everyone, I was like, to end off that project is like Yeah man, you asked most you could tell who who's a Griselda fan, like when they came on board by, if you ask them, their top, their top three favorite pro, you know, projects. Oh, okay. Because if someone says, if someone don't say Hitler 2 is one of West's best projects, then they, they really don't know. I mean, I'm not going to say they don't know what they're talking about, but they didn't do enough homework. Yeah, no, I, I agree. You no, know, like, that's like. Do you have a favorite West project? Do I have a favorite? I mean, Fly God is like, to me, when people ask, like, I'll post on Instagram sometimes, ask me a question. Like, when I'm bored and shit, I was like, ask me a question. People always ask, what's your top album? What's your top project? You have an ashtray? I mean, I'll be honest with you, bro. Saying Fly God, Reject 2, and Tana Talk 3, that's like someone saying, oh, my favorite movie is The Godfather, Goodfellas, and Casino. Like, okay, yeah. that's a boring fucking answer. Like, we, <laughs> yeah. we know that. Like, yeah. Like, but outside of Fly God, if I had to pick a favorite West project, I might have to say Blind Tell. That was the album that changed my, like, that was the album I just... I'm never, it was different. Yeah, yeah it was different. You, you'll never forget the first time you heard God's Don't Bleed. Yeah. You'll never forget that shit. Yeah. Like, that shit, that's the hardest beat of all time. And I, I ain't gonna front, like, being able to meet all the guys, like, through the page. The page started after a couple of days. I had Wes Conway and Benny all following the page. This is before Wes stopped following everybody. Oh, yeah, he only followed, like, yeah, four yeah. people. So we were, at, we were at work. 
like, oh shit, Wes is following us. You know, we were we were pumped, we were hyped. But um, you know, we didn't. I didn't do this page for a fucking hoodie or a, a yeah. free CD. You know what I mean? I, I make a good living. I I didn't do it for yeah, that. Yeah, you have a job. You have family. The amount that you post and shit is crazy. I, I do it all from my couch and I do it all from my phone. Uh, it, it's 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 light work, but honestly. it shows you love it too. It's fun, man. It keeps me busy. I, I'm not much of a channel surfer. I don't really watch like TV like that and shit. If it's not the New York Knicks, I'm not really watching TV. So yeah. it's like when the smoke settles, when the kids go to bed, and I sit on the couch at night, like it's I fuck around with it, you know. Watch the Griselda shit. Yeah. See what people are doing. Meet all the dope ass artists that have come yeah, out. Yeah, and, and, like, and I've really built relationships with these people of this, and that's all I did it for. I didn't do this for, like I said, I didn't do this so. Somebody could, oh, maybe they'll send me a hook. Nah, I didn't do this shit for that. I did this shit, honestly, as corny and cliche as it sounds, I did this shit to spread the, the, the good gospel. I feel the same way. That's why I don't set up my interview and then, like, yeah. leave. Like, I want to hang and be friends with these people. And, like, because I love, I respect their music and I want yeah. them to, like, respect what I'm doing, too, you know? And it shows that they do. Yeah. Uh, you doing big, you had a big 2021, my man. That means a lot. That yeah. means a lot. Thank you very much. You know, much. like I said, this is my first time ever sitting down with, with anybody. Like you said, I, I kind of keep it behind the scenes. Not that anybody, like, really, you know, yeah. not for any reason. It's just, I just do. Yeah. Um, it all started because I didn't, at the shows, I didn't want a lot of people, like, running up on me and shit. Like, like yo, yo, yo. But, you know, I met some of my, my closest homies through this page, you know. 100%. Like, like, real talk. Like, my man Wells right here, I know him for, for life. That's my brother, for real. My man Just Herm. Uh, shout out to C Black. You know, shout out to a couple of people that I really connected with off this page. Yeah. That really became like family, so. I want to shout out Kip. Shit, Kip. Yeah. And I met in the funniest Yo. way. I know people have heard this story, but like, I was looking for his mural. He lives, I, when I found out that his mural was 30 minutes away from where I lived, mm -hmm. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah. Like, I live in the middle, middle of bumfuck nowhere, Massachusetts. Like, there's a Griselda mural. Yeah. And I'm looking for it. And I look for about an hour. And I can't find it. I'm like, you know what? I'm like done. You know, I, I'm not looking for it anymore. And I'm about to leave. And I have my um, anvil pink three-eyed yeah. heart hoodie on. And this dude runs up and he goes, nice Griselda hoodie. And I go, are you Kip? <laughs> <laughs> and I thought I called him Kip the Frog, which I Kip thought the frog. <laughs> I called him. But I, and that's how we we became friends. Ever since then, he showed me the mural. We talked for an hour, and like he comes to my shows. He like oh, I like out. I love Kip, man. He's a he's those lifelong you friends. See that though, that's really just, how it happens. Like, well, and and that's that shit's that shit's uh all off the strength of this movement. Yeah, you know, not to mention like. I consider some of the people that are really involved in the in the movement as friends at this point. You know, I, I chop it up with Conway more often than I could ever had you know even imagined. You it's, know, it's crazy. I That's fuck like my favorite rapper of all time. I got I got you know I talk to him. It's still it's still crazy to me sometimes. I you know I, I do my best to never show like you know you got to keep it cool around people. Like you said, you don't want you don't want to ever come off the wrong way. Yeah. But that's how you know you're not dick ride, not to. But like you know when someone comes across like yeah. weird, and I still get nervous talking to him. But like, it's funny hearing like, it is weird. Like yeah, my ex telling me that I was too obsessed with Griselda. Like that's the literal thing that I was told. They just don't get it, man. They two don't and a get half it. years ago, whatever, to like being able to interview Conway. And like, which is crazy. You guys had the illest interview ever. Thank you, man. That, that shit, means a that lot. Shit, you guys went clubbing, went, went, <laughs> yeah. knocked that shit out after. <laughs> and we got personal on that. I yeah. didn't know what was gonna happen on that one. Like, he's very transparent, man. And yeah. and not for nothing, some of his interviews, you see, he's not into it. Mm -hmm. Like, meaning like he's very quiet, and yeah. uh, you could tell sometimes when when he's comfortable and when he wants to actually talk to somebody, and you could tell he wanted to rock with you. Well, he was testing me. Like we, he tested me, late, making me wait, and then going to the club, <laughs> and then like hearing afterwards that he told like friends of mine that he didn't fuck with me at first. I realized it was a test. First thing he asked me was like, uh, "What? What are you gonna talk to me about?" You know, which is like, "Oh shit!" This is the first thing he says to me. I'm nervous. Yeah, and then know. he just starts roasting me about how I don't get hoes every time <laughs> I'm with him. Yeah, he, is a, he is a comedian. He he's is, funny bro. as hell. He's funny as hell. But shout out to him because he's really, he's really like one of the illest to ever do it. And ever. that's not just like biased Griselda talk. 
He's one of the illest rappers to ever grace a microphone, point blank, period. And that conversation made me like him as an artist more, because I think people put up these, like, him calling himself, like, I like realizing these are real dudes that feel the same way, because yeah. there are some days where I feel like I'm the greatest, and then there's other days that I feel like I'm a piece of shit, you know? And we all go through that. It's like people forgot what he really overcame, still overcomes. I mean, that shit is incredible. Like, people, like, like don't even bring it up anymore because he's been in the game so long, but you know, sometimes people got to remind themselves, like, I know, I know what he likes, like, when he raps on a song like um, Half of It mm -hmm. or, or Scatterbrain, you know, certain tracks that some of these Griselda fans might really, like, they just want to hear him on the, you know, a Derringer beat, you know, a Dusty Loop. But I know he likes to challenge himself and rap fast. You know, because it's, it's not easy for him to do that. So it's, he likes to challenge himself. So I like hearing that because I know that he likes to prove that he's not in a box. And the same thing goes with Benny. You know, when, when Benny works with Fraud or if Benny does a Hip Boy project, like, that's what it's about, man. If you're not rooting for these guys to, you know, shine in every way, shape and form in life and get super rich off of their hard work, and the content's never going to change. Yeah, like they're not—they're not gonna change their content. How many how many female-driven tracks you you ever heard these guys make? You know, they could have been done that. Yeah, they're not—they're not doing that. Like, and and even if they did, I'm sure it would be some gangster shit. Like, shit. I'm trying to think of the name of the song off of "Look What I Became." Yeah, that uh, like the made me is it the one where he's with Amber? Yeah, where he's like yeah. rapping like that. Shit's like, one of that's honestly one of my favorite tracks. Yeah, like even like Benny and and um. Benny and Drake songs that are out there not not you know put out yet but like mm -hmm. man like because other fans like if I, I sometimes like I post that on the page and I'm just like oh they're gonna fucking they're gonna rip this shit apart because that's yeah. just how they are but you got you should be happy that he's actually achieving that in, in life 100 you, know, you, you really should and shout out to my man Tony De Niro I had to throw that out there that's my guy right there uh you know he's always looking out that's that's really that's my brother for real too oh that's good to, that's uh, another yeah. person that like I built a, a good relationship with over the past few years off the strength of this page. And, like, he's there. Anything I ever needed, he's there. You know, and that goes for, you know, D-Jack, Chad, Jake, all the guys behind the scenes that, like, really put in, like, a yeah. lot of work. Shout out Chad. Chad's Yo, fucking. I mean, yeah. there's no one better than those those three guys. Like, they put in a lot of work. And they, you want to talk about keeping behind the scenes. Like, they are behind the scenes. Most people don't even, like, know what they're really doing out here, but. They're, they're making a lot of shit happen, and they've done a lot for me since I've been running this page. You know, it's a they could have deaded this shit anytime they wanted. You know, yeah. it's it's a it's West baby, so I have to act court. I have to you know promote it the right way. You know, and and that's what I do. It I treat it like a business. I always have, and it's one of those things where like the page has over two point five million impressions a month. That's insane. That's fucking crazy. That's insane. Like it's nuts that, that I could I could. Throw Conway's face on Michael Jordan and 5,000 people like that shit and 300 people <laughs> comment on that shit. It's like, I just did this shit literally while I was on my couch. I know, but you're telling me my shit's impressive. Your shit's impressive. Like, no one, like, you have a bigger following than most of the rappers that are, like, Yo, not the three <laughs> Griselda. Like, not not on rude shit to them at nah, all. For real, but though. Like, it's, 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 and you know what, though? I'm happy to, to push this. If, if Wes signs somebody, Conway, you know, Benny, anyone, I'm, I'm happy to push that shit and help it any way I can. 100%. You know? It's about the love. That's why, like, shit, at fucking right after this, I got uh, China Streets coming over to do Word. a podcast. It's, and then... So you said the three men, like, like yo, I, Boldy James might be, my, like, my favorite rapper, like, oh, on planet Earth right now. Like, you know? So, yeah. He's the, like, that's another acquired taste, though. Mm -hmm. You just play a Boldy James song for some people. Did you like Mandra McNichols? Yo, it's funny you say that. There's a there's like an hour long documentary on YouTube about really? that project. All right, you might have to send that to me. Yo, after. it's just about that project, and Boldy don't do many interviews. I know, if if any at all. Like so, he's. I'll make it happen. He gets personal. Yo, you will make it happen. <laughs> we will make that happen. <laughs> but um, he really, he really uh. Like, it's personal. It talks about his personal life on this documentary. Mangro McNichols got a song middle of the month. I told, I, I DM Boldy this shit a couple of weeks ago. I was like, yo, this might be my favorite record you got. That's that song, uh, middle, of, middle of next month. But, um. Oh, that's one, that's my favorite track off the project, too. Yeah, and yeah. it's just crazy. I'll but, like, going through something. Yeah, when, yeah, when, when these shows, you know, go, get, you know, get going and shit, I cop tickets. People be like, why are you copping a ticket? 
because you got to support the fucking artist. You got to support the movement. I ain't never going to hit somebody and be like, yo, you know, no, you buy your ticket. And I hit Boldy when he did his show at SOBs. And I was like, I sent him like, you know, yo, I got my ticket, man. I'll see you there. And he, I'll never forget. He's like, what the fuck you mean your ticket? Why you ain't rolling with me? And like, you know, like, and he, he was, he was ill, man. He met me there. He, he hooked it up, you know, and that, I thought uh, Bo Jackson, all these top 10 lists, and you have Bo Jackson on it. That shit was, that was my personal album of the year. Like, Bo Jackson? That was my personal album of the year. Can I say something crazy? I think Tecmo Bowl is. Uh, oh boy, that's a, that shit is crazy. I listened to that more. I loved Bo Jackson, but that project might be one of my favorites. Yo, him and Al are turning into something. That reminded me of a Mandrel McNichols mm-hmm. version where it's like very personal. It's not about like what's gonna get like the Griselda fan listens. Like, I mean, shit, uh, three hundred fences, moth in the flood. There's so many. The whole great, shit, it, every fucking song. Yeah. And I, I, uh, when it comes down to like Boldy and Al, like I don't, I can't name a better like, cause they, for the most part, work you know with each other. Most of Boldy's music is with Al. That's a, that's a one, that's a hell of a one-two punch right there. And if yeah. anyone's listening to this and you're not, Boldy's in, debut album is one of the best. Yo, like I think, I think the the Price of Tea in China mm-hmm. might be one of like the greatest albums. What's his chemistry decade. class? Is that my first chemistry? My set. first chemistry yeah. set. That like, one's yeah, like, yeah. what's he got Bronson on there? Yeah, like, yeah. Like, I'm excited for that show with him and yeah NBA Bron- Love Tour. Are you going to that one? I gotta go to that. All right, and and that's strictly off the strength of I've seen Bronson and you know a bunch of times and he puts on one hell of a show. He does. You know I used to be a big Our Future fan back in the day. You know? Okay. I mean the older you get, the harder you know it gets to listen to you know kill people burn shit fuck school, but I like how Tyler adapted to you know making like real music like he made music and then all of a sudden who got him back into rapping. Griselda. Yeah, I, I'm more of an Earl guy. Yeah, you more of an Earl guy. I'm more more of an Earl guy. Yeah. My my man, me and my man Just were talking about Earl the other day. He, he, we were sending a couple of bars, like our favorite Earl bars, back and forth. And I was like, you know, he's he's a he's a rapper. He's See, I wouldn't call him he, Miracle Miracle, like uh, he because he doesn't because he has some grimy content to yeah, it. Too, that's you know what I was mean? just gonna talk about is because I fuck with like Armand Hammer, like the mm-hmm. fucking Billy Wood. Okay, you know, okay. Listen, like I fuck with like Milo or as Bill he Bill. goes rep Ferreira or like I fuck with the like like the Serengeti. I've been listening to crazy like any of the uh, Kenny Siegel produced okay. shit, like the Ruby Yacht shit. Like still I still fuck with Eminem's. Like, no, I don't fuck you, with Eminem. You don't fuck with Eminem? Like I mean, uh, listen. Listen, I like tracks off him, but I don't like angry white people. Yo, I, listen. Like, I don't, like, I'm like, why? I just, like, it's like, the. I think the fans ruin it for, ruin it for me, too, but it's like, it's just like, uh, Bro, how is How is Alchemist his fucking DJ for all these years, and they never, like, He has really, that one really, song, and yeah. it's short dog shit. Oh, my God. But and yo, what's it called? Like yo, mama's yo, fucking. That shit was crazy. <laughs> I, I, yeah. It was it was it was a tough listen. But Alchemist is. But I loved Bang. I loved yo. Eminem's verse off Bang. It's funny you say that because like that's another thing people fucking hated on. Like and I love that, that shit. Eminem kills any feature, like new features. Yeah. He kills all of that shit. Like, but you know, and I won't go into like you know the shady Griselda thing because honestly, look where they're at. Look where they're at. They're they're. Where they're going, you know, it's all part of their story. You know, yeah. people, fans could shit on Shady and say whatever they want. It's all part of their story. I mean, Conway and West seem like they're doing pretty fucking well. I'm sure they don't have many regrets, you know. Yeah, but people like to hate. Like, yeah. I get such minuscule hate, and it hurts me. Like, dude, the amount of mean comments that people have commented about Conway on, like, the video I have of him, I was like, I don't know how. Like, it's just hurt. People are fucking stupid. Like, it's stupid as fuck, bro. Like that's also part of the reason why I don't be showing my fucking face out here. Like, yeah. like real talk. I got almost seventy thousand people following the page. I don't need to be putting myself on front street. Not that I give a fuck what anyone has to say, because I'll Dikembe Mutombo block their ass in a fucking heartbeat. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, 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 I'm telling you, this blocking shit could get it gets fun. But if anyone says anything negative about the movement, they get blocked. Block. Like, I don't leave that yeah. shit up in the comments. So my comment numbers. Are, nah, nah, nah. If you want to talk stupid. About the machine, if you want to talk about West. But if you hate anything. someone winning, that's because you're not winning yourself. Not for nothing. Like, that's, that is it. Yeah. Like, they don't like that they're making moves because that person probably didn't make a move they should have a fucking month before, six months before. And I get it. Some people might think my page is, like, the platform for, like, venting. But, like, 
you ain't gonna come on there and shit on fucking any of these hardest yeah and, and, and you know i can't let it rock not that i'm sure they don't they're not losing sleep over getting blocked by the griselda records fan page but at the end of the day it's all positive vibes only on that page that shit is to support the movement that shit is f- nothing else other than that you that's know? why i fuck with it like yeah, yeah and uh and i always sh- you know anytime i always fit anything in anytime i can so whether you rock it, you always you know rocking the gear so yeah. i always post your shit yeah, right no, i always have even no, before we even spoke i always did that means a lot. And, and, like, that's the thing, like... Can I ask you, this is such a yeah. weird question, but I've never asked anyone this before. Mm-hmm. How did you find my podcast? I, to be honest with you, I don't remember how I found it, but, because I found it early. I was I posted you early. You did. I have a method on how I built my following on the page, mm-hmm. and, you know... It could have been as simple as you. I don't know if you've ever posted a hashtag on one of your pictures. Shit. I think it probably was that. I think you probably liked it. I might follow yeah. fucking GXFR hashtag, and you might have did that shit one time, and all of a sudden, boom! I'm like, see, so you stuck out. Who, who's gonna? Who's gonna? How many stand-up comedians on stage rocking a fly god hoodie? Yeah. That shit's dope as fuck to me. So I posted that <laughs> shit right on the page. Like, boom! You know, that's a lot different than somebody sitting in their bedroom taking a selfie. Yeah. You know, you you wearing that shit on a on a whole different stage <laughs> so i thought that was fire and and you know then it just from there i remember you you reached we i always had a feeling we'd sit down and talk i yeah and, and you you uh literally not that like i have offers or people knocking on my door to sit down and talk but like i keep it behind the scenes for the most part because i don't need to i'm not in this for myself mm-hmm. like i said i ain't in this for a hoodie i love seeing these guys win i love seeing real rap back on the forefront i love the fact that i'm 34 years old I love the fact that, like, this ain't no young boy shit, but young, the young guys can get into it. Yeah. But it's not like where, like, I'm 34 listening to some young guys rapping. Nah, this shit, this shit is for us. This shit is for everybody. Mm-hmm. And I'm just happy to have it back because I started listening to a lot of soul music, a lot of smooth shit, and the rap just started weaning itself out when your favorite rappers only drop you know, an album every 18 months. Yeah, because action was not for nothing, but, like, action was kind of like... Holding it together, but then he stopped releasing music crazy. You could tell his passion was in other places. 100%. You could tell. And you I think tell. that's good. I think, shit, I was just with Danny Brown, and I could tell that his passion is yeah. with other stuff right now. And that ha- I think it eventually happens with everybody. But not everybody's making money off physical copies. Or you do what Dave Chappelle does, which I was talking, like you take a break and you come back. But you take a break on your turn. And people thought he was crazy. Nah, he that's fucking shit's crazy. Rude. He came back cock diesel and fucking made more money and you know, look at him now. He Yeah. You know, Lord knows how much money he's getting paid for every Netflix special that he does. Yeah. But even Dave Chappelle, that's somebody that's been in a room with the guys. I've seen Wes taking pictures with Dave Chappelle. Like, I know that shit's crazy. You can't name somebody that they haven't been with. Drake, and, LeBron, and the people James that they're Pine, with yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't wanna like I mean in a good way, like I don't wanna say they're sweating, but like they're really like fans. The people that like that they're with like you could tell like how excited like Swiss Beats was to be with Machine. You could tell how happy Drake was when he plugged in on Rap Radar when he started talking about Griselda. Like yeah, it's it's the it's the illest shit that happened in decades. What do you think that is? I think it's because grimy rap, real rap, it literally fell off the face of the fucking earth for nearly twenty years. I mean, think about it. I remember being in high school. What was iller than D Block, Dipset, and G Unit? Nothing. There was nothing ill. And then after that, you know, French, I, I'm, like I said, I was born in 1987. So when French Montana had his little Coke boy shit going on, I was still out there in the streets doing hood rat things with my hood rat friends. You know, yeah. so it's like that shit was cool to listen to at the time. But there was, you know, I, Bronson was like considered underground rap at the time. Like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? If I listen to Action, but there's always there's levels to it, though. Like there's people, I listen to Action Bronson and my friends looked at me like I listen to underground rap back in the day. Yeah, but there's levels to underground rap. One hundred, like, like real. You ask a real underground rap head, they're gonna tell you that's that's a, that's pretty much fucking commercial to them. It's crazy. Yeah, that's what I'm figuring out. Yeah, and I just love how like the Griselda guys like, like if you really go back, I don't think quantity and quality has ever been done on that level. And I'm I'm not like people could say woo. Listen, let me let's be real. How many classic fucking Wu Tang projects are there? Shout out to them, the illest group right that's the illest because that's a group Griselda ain't a group it's a label yeah who's the illest group ever but outside of the few solo albums you don't think they're a group i don't look at Griselda as a group 
I look at it as a label um, who has done a collective project, but I don't think they would call themselves a group. Mm -hmm. You know, like, it's more or less a label. And, you know, there's, like, do you look at G-Unit as a group? When they put out an album, it's in group mode, I guess, Yeah, I do, because I see... Be, okay, because I feel like if we're talking about levels, I, I don't know. I could be, this is hearsay, but it's like, all right, but then that there's the core group, and then there's levels to it. Now mm-hmm. we got Stove God, we Shout got Jay him. Worthy. We Yeah, if we're going to talk crazy, fucking awesome Fly Guys and Awesome God 2 is probably in my top three favorite West project. And Wes, they slept on that shit. That's slept. literally probably... They that's in my that three. That's album. probably three. You know, shout out to Stove God too. When I met Stove at the Conway show, he was like, he's like, when I introduced, you know, myself, he's like, oh, you go, you, you be going fucking crazy. I never, I was like, oh man, because like, I think reasonable, you know, drought, drought yeah. is crazy. Like that's cocaine, a, cologne, like oh my God. save, like not. I hate that sounds so stupid, but it did save me from a real dark time. Listen, he that album is an actual classic project. 100%. Like, and I know the word classic gets thrown around. No, in, that is. In this fucking lane and in this world we live in right now, if you tapped into this, you know, shit we got going on, that shit is a fucking classic in every way, shape, and form. And first time I listened to it, I was like, eh, it's all right. You know, second time I listened to it, I was like, oh, but sometimes you got to listen to some things a couple of times. Yeah. Not everything is the first time. Like, I remember the first time I heard 50 Cent and Lloyd Banks, I was blowing the fuck away. You know what I mean? Like, it ain't like that for everybody. Mm-hmm. Like I said, some of my, I would say, four out of my top ten favorite artists, first time I heard them, I couldn't fucking stand it. And then it took a couple of times, a couple of times. Yeah. And then, you know, sometimes, like, if Wes signs somebody, I'm going to give him a chance because he's got the golden ear, you know? So, like... What so it, you didn't know, like, Worthy or any of them I knew, before I knew that? Stove way before he started messing with Griselda. Like with, far, like, Aaron Cook's Yeah, days, like, he was on this, the uh, Ghost Music song with Conway and Busta Rhymes, like, five years ago. Like, yeah. he was on the Aaron Cook's. But, um, so I've been on about him, and I was a fan of Reasonable Drought before he fucked with Griselda. So that just made it better for me. Mm-hmm. Jay Worthy, I was in the studio with... Um, West and my shout out to C Black, he made it happen. My man C Black was like, "Yo, what are you doing tonight?" I was like, "I ain't doing nothing." He's like, "Yo, you want to go to the fucking studio?" West, he's he's recording the Hitler fucking eight. I'm like, I'm like, you fucking kidding me right now? Only time I ever met West was when my boy Wells introduced me a quick, but we spoke like through DM, you know. But yeah, yeah, he showed you know he's he's showed appreciation for what I'm doing and everything. But when he uh, invited me to the studio, that was one of the highlights. Like. That's the thing. Was like, that the night that t- you said the TF? Yeah, when yeah, TF yeah. When TF yeah. pulled up too yeah. fucked he, up. He, well, I don't know how. I don't know if he what he was. You know, I don't know. He told the story on your on your. Yeah, 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 yeah. He. I'm not. Yeah, yeah. yeah this is. He his. told. He told that story. He told I was story. there though that night. Yeah. And um, that was like one of the illest nights of my fucking life right there. And my boy C Black made that happen. We went. We went to uh, the studio. Which as I'm walking in, I'm like, yo, this is fucking where Pac got shot. I just knew because I've seen so many documentaries and movies. I'm like, yo, this is the same fucking studio Pop got shot in. Like, I'm in the same. <laughs> so I was like, oh shit. And uh, you know, we go up, and I never got a chance to see any of the guys. And and when you see somebody at a show, they're working. Yeah. You know, you go to you met Conway at the show. He's working. Mm-hmm. He's fo- there's a million people there to see him. It's not. It's not. You don't really get that time to really chop it up and get to know him. But I got to see Wes like make music, and Danger was there. Camouflage Monk was there. My man Forty was there. Um, Wyan Billy was there. Uh, shout out Wyan Billy. Shout out he's Wyan Billy. so. I'm mad that I didn't uh, say his name earlier because he's so underrated. You gotta get him on your show, man. Yeah, I want, that would be a crazy fucking. I've interview. wanted to for so shit. I'd go down to Atlanta just yeah. to do it. Like I'm a, you know what? I'm gonna fucking let him know. Word. And and he's. I've been bumping him yeah. early. Like I listen to that shit. Cra- like. That real underground Atlanta that's some, shit. That's, that's some that's shit a whole I nother, listen See, that's the thing. Like, people don't know. Like, Wes loves that type of music. Dolph was his favorite. Dolph yeah. is one of mine. Like, Dolph is honestly, like, I don't think I've ever been as sad for a rapper's passing as when Dolph died. And I'll, I'll be honest. Like, that shit fucked me up bad. When Chinks and Nipsey died, that shit fucked me up, too, for a minute. Mm. You know, I wasn't a, a Dolph. Like, I'm, I'm a fan of Dolph. I, love, yeah. I like his music. Um... Some people, you, it's say, I hate to say it, but you don't really tap in until after they pass. And like, yeah. I never, 
I wasn't big onto the Memphis shit like that. Like, I just never was. I knew who he was. I've heard a couple of songs. I always respected him, but I wasn't a, a fan. Like, not that I wasn't a fan. No, I wasn't, I I wasn't following his shit or yeah. checking for his shit. But, um, you know, that that's the thing. Like, with, with somebody like Wyan Billy or, or with, with all these guys, it's a different style. Like, I know, like, people would be shocked. If they think that Benny West and Conway are out here bumping fucking boom bap rap, they're wrong. Oh, yeah, no. You ever they see? bump the shit I listen yeah. to other than them. I, like. be, I, be, I see Boldy James on his Instagram live. He plays uh, he playing some like wavy shit. Well, like, he's from Detroit. Yeah, like that's the shit that like I be hearing it sometimes, and I'm like, yo, that shit's fire. Like, and yeah. I'll download that shit because you know it's it, it sounded good. It's not you can't put yourself anybody who puts themselves now. There's nothing wrong with that though. You know what I mean? Yeah. I know people who only like horror movies. You know, yeah. so I guess to each his own. But I I like to definitely. I think people need to broaden their horizons when it comes to the Griselda shit understand that they're not always going to stay in this box you want to see this shit flourish into something else yeah you truly do like that's what this is all about Benny wrote the other day there's a difference between a fan and a supporter I was like let me find out I got to change the name to the Griselda record support page because <laughs> because there's a, there's, a, there's a difference and you know that's uh something that I know I don't remember what the original question was I'm sorry I don't either but, We're probably hot box in this room. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, no, I, I ain't smoked in a couple of weeks, so. <laughs> I know I was gonna ask you about DMT and shit, but I won't make you do it. Yeah, I, mean, I mean, listen, I, I, you know it's funny. I was after watching a couple of your episodes. I was like, he's gonna ask me about DMT. <laughs> I was like, he's gonna ask me about DMT. And then you came in here and you're like, yeah, I'm not smoking for like work shit. And then I was yeah. like, damn, I probably shouldn't I'm ask a, him about DMT. <laughs> I'm 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 in the stages of free agency and signing a new deal right now. So I had to. <laughs> I had to make sure I was on my P's and Q's. I understand. But, um, you know, sometimes you got to cross your T's, dot your I's, and, and yeah. dot, dot your lowercase J's. But plus, once we don't get you fucking lit like that no more, sometimes it's good to just pump the brakes. Mm. You know, I, I always I always do that. He, he'll tell you. Throughout the year, there's always a couple of times throughout the year where I just don't puff because sometimes it's good to, you know, just align your inner chi. No, I and get, and I, I get your shit going. Like sometimes that shit elevates you to another level. I didn't do it on camera. I asked Khan if he had ever done mushrooms or DMT, and he said no. And I was like, D I wanted to be like, you should, bro. That's what you no, need. I never, I never, <laughs> I never did uh, no crazy shit like that. I mean, don't get me wrong. Yeah. Listen, I'm, I'm fucking, I, 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 from Long Island, so okay. People fucking party and shit. People have done yeah. shit. You know, I've, everyone's you know had had their couple of fun nights in their life, but I've never done nothing like that. Yeah. Back in high school, I did like mushrooms in the woods one time with my friends. Like, you know what I mean? But one Wes time, must have. Wes? Wes must have. I don't know. I have like a f weird feeling that he has. Really? I don't know why. Just the third eye shit, his special connection shit. Him signing fucking... St you say you knew Aaron Cooks early. Mm -hmm. That's his shit. Yeah. Like, he was rapping about like the weird, crazy yes. shit early. Like... Like Absol shit. Like it's funny. When Absol dropped some new fucking music. He, all right, he, all right. It's he, been five, right, seven, I, it's I been six years. Pusha T. He's got a song with Absol that I love. <laughs> so Pusha T's in my top, my top ten artist. Oh really? Yeah, that's my. That's not many people talk that that coke talk like him. Yeah. But he got a song with Absol. That's the only reason I brought him up. But because I was naming famous rap, uh, my favorite rappers to you like five times, and I left Push off. <laughs> but that's another example see of I'm like, young so my shit's a little bit you? 24 you're 24 years old yeah damn man I would have never guessed you're 24 years old uh, yeah I mean not that not because just your knowledge on music the way you carry yourself no you know? I appreciate that's good. that that's but good. Yeah. Wow, I got a decade on you damn <laughs> I know when you said 87 I was born 97 damn wow yeah. I remember I literally remember when Biggie died hey guys this episode is sponsored by producer out of Syracuse New York <laughs> Twist L's. He makes dope lo-fi beats. He has a bunch of tapes on Bandcamp that you should all check out. But uh, if you want to work or get amazing lo-fi beats, hit him up at lofi.lucifer on Instagram. That's L-O-F-I dot L-U-C-I-F-E-R. Uh, check him out. He's an amazing dude. Thankfully sponsors the podcast. Let's get back into it. My music taste is different. That's why, like, it's funny. I was fucking with, like, when Wes said he liked Dolph. Like, I was fucking with Dolph, like, early, like, when he first dropped. Mm -hmm. And I was like, when I first heard Wes, I was like, damn, this is like some boom yeah. bop Dolph. Yeah. Like, so it was... You know, Wes, Wes actually, I'll never forget, he posted something before Mac Miller passed. 
and he said if Mac Miller don't get uh, you know album of the year or, or talked about or Grammy, he says something like he's like I quit this rap shit, and this is before Mac Miller passed, and uh, I'm just a firm believer like there's certain people that got golden ears. Yeah. If Alchemist does an album with somebody, mm-hmm. I will fucking listen to it because he ain't fucking with nobody. Did you listen to Haram? I not well, well not yet. I'm not. See, I just okay. Said that. No, 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 mean, no, but you know what I mean. Like, one of my albums. Like not like, years, but so. you know what I mean though. Yeah, like yeah, like yeah. like that's how like Boldy James. Like when I realized that West, my man Just and Alchemist. I'm like, okay, those three people love Boldy James. You know, I gotta get involved then in because this. You know, the first time I listened to it, I was like, it's cool, but like. After a couple of times, like like I said, he's literally my favorite, one of my favorite rappers on this fucking planet right now. And Wes is somebody that has a golden ear. So if he signs somebody, you know, I'm willing to give them a fucking chance every time because he wouldn't co-sign some whack shit. 100%. That's why. Yeah. And I, I fucked with Wes because of his ear. Like, I mean, it's crazy what, what he's doing out here. Like, like, honestly, like, that's another thing like that, that Hitler ate shit. Like, A or B. B. Yeah, I'll go B. I'll if go B. you're if you're just like a Griselda fan, like you like them, one like A's gonna be your because that's like of course every song on there is fucking amazing. I try to view it, but all as B's one, like though. a Wes album. I like to put it all as one though. It's I have to. I agree. It's my number two album of the year altogether. All one. Dope game, stupid by Bruiser Wolf. Okay. If you haven't listened to that, you have to put me on. Oh, that's like Stove God. Like, listen to it like one or two times and then really listen to it. He has crazier lyrics than anyone I've ever heard. Ever. Where's right? from? Uh, Detroit. He signed to Danny Brown. Oh, shit. Yeah. What we got going on? Who, who, who we talking about yesterday? Who's your guy? Pa- Payroll Giovanni? Oh, fire. Yeah, because he fuck with, he's fucked with like Larry June and all that. See, I knew Jay Worthy before Griselda like even was in my mind. Like I listened to all that shit early. That's where we went off on. Where I went off on a tangent. We were speaking about that night in the studio and mm-hmm. I saw Jay Worthy there. And I knew who he was because, you know, there's certain people, like I said, that, listen, people like Boldy James, people like Jay Worthy, these are, these are official certified you know street cats like yeah like they are official these aren't rappers and that's what i love about like west and even the same thing that i love about 50 they surround themselves with like you gotta be authentic and like i know like west ain't fuck with nobody that's not so like jay worthy he got some shit a lot of his like music that got like that uh that old g-funk vibe to it you know like some of the hooks the samples I'm a sucker for that shit. He might have my favorite fucking Alchemist EP, like not album, Yo, but that project. That he shit is did, crazy, like... and and not for nothing. The um, he fucked with fraud. Yeah, he, him and Larry June got some shit too. And like I fucked with them early. It's funny because all these like Uncle John, I think I knew before Griselda. Like I, it's really? funny all these like people who Jay Worthy, all Larry June. Shit, Larry June has been around. Yo, he got a following. Mm-hmm. So he's been around for. So he used to open up for Freddie Gibbs in 2012. Like he used to be like Trap Larry. Is, he yeah. fucking got. He sound shows out and shit. Like I don't. I know. Uh, he dropped. Um, I'm not like fully tapped into Larry June like mm-hmm. that yet. But that's the thing. When I seen him on West Page sitting on the couch with Worthy, I'm like, all right, let me, let me check this guy out. I do want to go back to Bruiser Wolf though. Like yeah, honestly, you know. I want to give him all his flowers. He like certified. He fucking. So at is it, forty, is it grimy or is it lyrical miracle? What is it? Because I know you it's like grimy. Right, so oh, it's it grimy. To hear it, then. I don't even know how to describe it. It's like it sounds, he sounds like a, it sounds like a pimp from the sixties, like just spit. Really? Like his bars are the craziest bars I've ever heard. I don't even know how to. Uh, oh, I just want to spit. So, I just want to say some of his bars because hear something. Um, I'm hand to hand like 315 Ooh. is a crazy bar. Uh, I could sell weight to patients. Okay, is a okay. crazy okay. bar. Um, shit, you got any Irish? Um, um, oh, oh, wait, wait. Um, uh, what is it? Yeah, he has uh, just I just look yeah. his shit. Yeah, look now, up dope yeah, game, now, stupid. Man. Uh, look, uh, the dopest in the building is a crazy song. Um, no, he just released his debut album at like forty years old. You know, like that, that, it's funny you say debut albums and shit, and like and the, debut album. I put it that, in quotation. That's what I love about 
Griselda. They changed the game. It ain't, you could do, as far as, oh, here we go. All right. Yeah, <laughs> my circle tight, like a virgin. <laughs> I love that. Oh, wow. He's going in, though. I swear to God, it's hard to take picks when you pose a threat. Yeah, I wanted to play for, that's the line. I wanted to play for the Jets or the Mets. Instead, I had to invest in pills, coke, and crystal meth. Okay. <laughs> Talk your shit. Yeah. Talk your shit. <laughs> I got to tap yeah, in. Yeah, well, well, what do you call a guinea with the top off? That's a lamb chop? Yeah, he just. Okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I know you like that one. I know you like that one. Uh, uh, <laughs> There's the things I want to buy you. Oh, yeah, wow. still keep money in the rubber band. This crossfire, like my jeweler, a member of the Yo, clan. Like, like, listen, let me tell you something. <laughs> yeah. You know different, though. If you tell me that that's your number one favorite fucking album, yeah. see, I look at you as somebody who really knows rap. You here for a reason, right? You mm -hmm. interviewing, you know, like, like for instance, I'll give you, I'll name another person. Shots. You interview Shots. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to Shots. Shout out Shots. Let's, let me tell you something. That's another thing. Like, I got homies that ain't, like, he, do you know how easy it would be for him to ride a Griselda wave? He's Conway's brother. Mm -hmm. I love the fact that he's doing his own thing. Yeah. I can't wait to hear his project too. I want to shout out all the drum work. Oh, I get to give. I got to. I give Con his flowers Lucky. every time because they're all different as shit. Yo. Like, I mean, out of and you've interviewed most of them. Mm -hmm. now, when I saw you interview like Lucky, like that's a that's a real homie of mine. Like we really talk. Oh, really? Yeah, that's, he's that. a dope dude. He's also like. An amazing rapper. People don't even know how talented he is at producing, too. He made one of Conway's best songs ever. Temple. If you don't know Temple by Temple? Conway the Machine, it is a, it's in my top five Conway songs ever. Mm -hmm. Maybe even top three. Wow. And it's, like, crazy because, like, you could tell, like, he don't, even, he don't even be, like, producing like that. But, yeah, he produced something that means the world to people. Yeah, because that shit is like, yo, you, you never heard Temple? I, 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 I must have. I'm, but I don't I feel like, like when you hear it, you're gonna the, be like, yeah. oh, I know this, but, but. But Lucky and the Laser Gun, his newest project, oh, is one. Of, like that. honestly, that he he's real. Like he's he's a fucking good rapper, man. He's spent and a good out. dude. He's, he's a great dude, and he and he looked out. Yeah, uh, you know that's somebody that you know my man CB plugged us in semi too. Like I spoke to Lucky, but we had a mutual friend in my man CB. But um. You know, even uh, like I know Jay Skis, pre Skeezes. previewed he previewed some uh, shit with him and Machine, and they got some shit coming. Yeah, they got some shit. Skeezes coming. is amazing. Yo, shout out to the whole drum work, Chad, everyone over there, right? Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. these are these are OJ. Yo, good dudes, all of them. Yeah, OJ knows how to get the crowd going. He does. Jesus fucking Christ, he's gonna be coming on here soon, and him and Hez are might be doing stand up with me. Really, I'm trying to get them into doing. I never even spoke to OJ like that. I just I got to see him at the Conway sh at uh actually what show was it? I think not OJ's. Conway I'll show. I'll link you when we're at a show. OJ's yeah. a really good dude. We were we were at the show. Me and Wells, we were we were backstage at the Machine show in Manhattan when he brought out every fucking rapper that ever existed. Oh, I was so mad I missed that show. I'm in a room with uh, I seen some dude walking with a mask on. I'm like, yo, that's fucking Method Man. I'm like, that's Method. I could tell that's fucking Method Man. But uh, being around Alchemist was like one of the most. I've like, never met Alchemist. That shit was. Crazy. I've never met Derringer. I met Diesel a few times, and he is as humble as they come. First time I met Diesel, he was standing outside of a. Sony Hall with Big Body Best posted up on a corner. And just like literally. Oh, I want to talk to Big Body so bad. Oh my God. Who doesn't? He's fucking, he's the funniest fucking guy ever. Yeah, I, re I remember the first fuck that's delicious. They're like, what do you do? He's like, I can't tell you because I'm still doing it. <laughs> you know, and like. My second guest ever, I don't know how deep you go into like, uh, but my second rap guest, not mm -hmm. my, se my second rap guest ever was Hologram, which okay. is oh, still yeah. like. Oh, that fucking I project that they the, dropped. I think that's the only interview he's ever done, and I don't know why he did it, because I literally, you can ask Irish, at that point, I was only interviewing local open mic comedians, and I DM'd him, and he's I was- a beast, man. Crazy. The same dude that put me on to Griselda mm -hmm. showed me that shit. So with mu that project with yeah, Bugs? It, it does I knew him from his features with Mayhem, because I was like, who the fuck yeah, is this he's also dude? On, he's also on Awesome God too, right? Yeah, uh-huh. That's I, that's why I wanted to talk to him, is because he has... Wow. Um, uh, 
yeah, he has the some crazy bars in the uh, my I <laughs> queef. My, what did he say? My bitch queef methodically in Greek mythology. <laughs> so crazy. Yo, shit. that project he had that Sep did the cover. Oh, that's another thing. We were ta- I'm talking about people that I built with. Oh. Shout out to Sep. Shout out to Squat Deadface and any other artists. I'm sorry if I'm forgetting, but those two guys. I have Bernard. Yo, all of them. They're fire. I got so much Sep art ready to be framed for when I when I cop the crib and I got so much squat art it's fucking unreal I'm gonna literally have a fucking it's gonna be an art basil at my fucking house I can't wait to, I wanna see that I don't have the like I can't wait until like I can fucking be, like I still I, I'm 24 years old like I live if I'm being honest I live at home when I come here I sleep on the couch Save like money man all the mo- I don't make all the money I make I put back into the podcast so like right now it's, it's like a business that's how starting a exactly. business is you're not gonna make money off the that's first how starting couple a business years. is I've, I've been I've been rocking with people starting businesses since we're fucking 18 years old where I'm from we used to start chimney companies and maintenance companies and shit and all you yeah. knew was a truck and a fucking phone and a salesman I'm a salesman that's what I do for a living yeah so it's like you know, when you invest in a business, the first few years you might not make money, you might not have the turn, but it's a marathon, not a sprint. And ninety percent of the people don't make it happen. Yeah. But as long as you stay with it, you know, you're gonna make it happen. Like. And that's the crazy thing. Two years ago today, I did my, I fucking did my first show. I was on my first poster ever for comedy. It takes balls, bro, to get on a stage. That's and like, then last month, I headlined that same show on the fifth year anniversary. Oh shit. I thought that was crazy. Is like, that when you dropped that Travis Scott joke? Nah, that was... When did I do that Travis... I was told not to do that joke on oh, that man. show. Oh, man. That was cold-blooded. <laughs> that was cold-blooded. I, was, I've, I can never do that joke again. I got too much flack for it. You definitely got flack for that one. That, that, That's right? a true... I mean, right? I love Travis. No, but like, fuck him for doing what he did to you. No, I fucking... No, I'm joking, I'm joking. I think that I love Travis. I just think that's funny as shit. And, like, I'm a comedian. I talk shit. Like, I mean, if you ain't... Listen, you have I shouldn't to, have posted it online. You have to talk about that. You have to talk about that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You know that... You heard about that? No. Travis Scott tried to fucking right holler at your girl, right? Yeah, in front of me and shit. Yeah. When I was like young, she was eighteen, I was sixteen. Oh, look at you. <laughs> Let me find out. <laughs> yeah, Conway. I fucking. Yeah. I just told a story that made him freak the fuck out last night on his podcast. Whoa, what check it out on STC. I I can't say it on my podcast. It's oh, too shit. dirty. It's oh, too shit. dirty okay, for yeah. my. Shit. And don't say it on. Don't say it on. Don't say it on this interview. Yeah, this is a self help podcast. <laughs> That's if you want to listen to gross shit, listen to his. STC. Oh man, um, <laughs> that's so funny. I appreciate um, you saying I have the uh, the ear going back to that because that's why I started this podcast. Honestly, is because like I was like. I love all these guys. I just want to talk to them before I yeah. can't talk to them. Yo, that's like, a fact. But you see, you look when you interview Conway. I wouldn't say that that's a point. Uh, he's famous as fuck. Yeah. And he still he still rocked with it's you. It's crazy he watched an interview. Because I don't like my interviews. Like, when you say you watch them, it's weird to me. Like, I honestly... I watch almost all of them. I bro. hate... Like, I... This is, sounds so... And I've said this. It sounds weird. But, like, I can't watch them. Like, the, I, I can't watch them. I think them. people's own voices bother them. Yeah. Right. Like I think when I watch this shit, I'm gonna be repulsed by it because yeah. it's like I just everyone hates the sound of their own voice. I think. Right. Something along those lines. I I do. Yeah, but I I like talk for a living. Yo, I you're just... good at it though. Like I'm telling all my homies, I'm like, yo, check my man out. My Thank man. you. That like real a lot. real talk, bro. You know what you're doing out here, and and not for nothing, you did the smart thing. Like you you interviewing people a lot of times that you know don't always get a platform to to really tell their story and, yeah. and you know and, and like like for instance me like yo you think anybody's asking me to come sit down yo I drove from I drove an hour to come sit down with you and that's and real talk that shit was an hour away I drove just because I'm like yo and it's Saturday I got my kids home <laughs> my son's like hey where you going I'm like yo listen I gotta go do some shit for work like no that means a lot but it's like I can't going back to what we were saying before and that's why I said that is cause like I can't support monetarily like I want to for like mm-hmm. people like Sep or Squad yeah. or like I know you're not selling but you know what I mean nah, like of course so I'd want but I want to help give people a platform in this way because just getting to talk to people is cool yeah. as shit like I get so much out of this I mean, more than anything else think about it we're talking about a rap label that inspired artists fashion like it's a fashion line at the end of yeah. the day like GXFR it's a fucking fashion line 
Selling out more than other like, fashion. That's lines. why I was able to do the page. Think about the content I got. When I first started the page, I had three artists, a fucking classic legendary producer. Was, you know, let's face it, Darren's just top five in that shit. I don't care what nobody says. Yeah. You know? And, you know, you got a fashion line to go along with it. You got people buying hoodies and buying records. They're selling physical copies. Like, I used to collect CDs growing up. I got all the Griselda CDs. I just, I still collect CDs. I just, I always did my whole life. I was a CD collector. Yeah. So it's just like, they brought that back into the game. Like, I didn't buy a CD for fucking damn near 20 years. And then all of a sudden, I'm copping fucking CDs every fucking other month now, every other week, because they dropped fucking, you know, they were dropping. When you think about the, the quantity and the quality, like we were saying about the woo, it's never been done like this. No. It's not even up for debate. It's damn near bullying at this point. And then you look at all the affiliated artists Yo. that they just keep growing. and How about the fact that the best is really yet to come, if you ask me? Yo, God don't make mistakes is going to be fucking, it's going to change everything for the machine. Like that album, you heard some shit, right? You heard an yeah. unreleased track? Yeah. That shit is going to be fucking special. Tana Talk 4, I mean, come on, you already, yeah. know, you already know what they're about to do. Yeah. And Wes could just put out a classic in his- Cat just posted that it's coming out in March. Oh, yo, you ready? Shout out to Cat too, yo. Shout out Cat. Shout out to Cat. She, she, looks, she looks out for me. She's looked out for me on multiple occasions, including a couple of weeks ago she, she looked out for me. But um, yeah, she's a, she's a Ill, yeah. Ill human to know. I, I'm very happy. She's that coming on here soon. Is she? Yeah. I'm, I'm definitely tap, tap into that one because yeah. she, knows, she knows her shit. And people, people like her are, are animals in this industry. Like- you know what I mean? They they know how to move in this industry. Mm-hmm. So it's things to take from people like that because yeah. she's, think about, you know, there's barely any Griselda female fans. Nevertheless, somebody, a female part of the movement. Like, you know what I mean? There's mm-hmm. Griselda female fans, but you know what I'm talking about. It's mainly a fucking sausage fest at these shows, <laughs> which is fine. That's, that's why my wife don't mind me doing a lot of, like, when I'm backstage and shit. <laughs> she don't, she like, don't be minding that much. Don't be mind that much. Shout, shout out to my wife and my kids. <laughs> but, um, I hope your kids aren't listening. <laughs> I hope they don't listen to this. But my daughter be on YouTube for a fucking living, so I wouldn't be surprised because I'm on your fucking page. I'm, I'm always watching your shit. So yeah. she's probably gonna fucking see my face on YouTube, <laughs> and I'm gonna have to tell her, turn that shit off. Talk Don't about fucking that. mushrooms and shit. <laughs> we didn't. We didn't. Nah, I, I'm, we nah, didn't I'm I'm, nah, I'm joking. Listen, this crazy. shit. This shit ain't PG. Listen, this whole lane. None of this shit is PG, bro. This yeah. shit is for the raw. But like I grew up listening to that shit. Like what? I know I've said it, but like when I think I was six years old, I knew every word to the Predator by Ice Cube. As you should. See, that, that's why you're, <laughs> different. you're different. You show you ain't 24. Show me your ID. No fucking way. <laughs> I will. No fucking way. The Predator. Seven seventeen ninety seven. Yo, ninety nine point nine percent of twenty four year olds don't even know what the fuck the predator is. Yeah, that's just a fact. Yeah, it's just a it's just a fact. It's that album, how it is. Same. Yeah. Yeah, it was. Yeah, my dad would play me that shit. Really? Yeah. Uh, my dad used to fucking break my Tupac CDs. Really? And yeah. then my mom loved Lil Wayne. Your mom loved Lil Wayne? Yeah. My mother, you know what my mother's favorite song was? The next episode by Dr. Dre. Really? Yeah, she said because she was like the cool mom. I had the cool mom growing up. So she'd be fucking, you know, yeah. when, la, da, 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 she'd be fucking, <laughs> she'd be in the car singing that shit. I'd catch her, I'm like, what the fuck? And your dad's breaking the Tupac. Yeah, he was, he was, he's stuck in, he's an old timer. Yeah. From, you know, so he's like, he's always like, put this Rolling Stones and Pink Floyd on instead. And don't get me wrong, <laughs> I love Rolling Stones and Pink Floyd. It's funny, I mostly, I listen to so much only rap that when I hear an artist that's, I don't like, I call it non-rap. Non-rap. I go listen to this non-rap I just heard. I swear to God, like my friends Yo. make fun of me for it because they're like, "You mean that musician?" Like, Yo, <laughs> the, I'm telling you, man, people would judge me if they knew what the fuck I listen to. Sometimes, like, oh, I listen to some crazy shit too. Yeah, I, and I'm not ashamed. I love music, point blank. Yeah. Period. I'm a big sample guy, and you know, I'll be going on. I'll be looking up samples, and I'll end up liking the original song better than. Remember when Action used to put out the playlist of all the old like jazz songs? What do you Welcome to the Moon? I think it was called. Mm -hmm. I found so many old like Brazilian, African, like his shit was shit out there that people just don't know. But that's the thing. That's what you know. You got to be into music. You know, you Mm -hmm. got to be into music. Like like they call it sample snitching though. So I learned that I learned that the hard way. I didn't I didn't understand like years ago how much of like you want to keep that shit on the low. Oh you know, yeah, you know, in certain in certain things. So like, I won't say what my favorite. That's funny is. that you just said that because I've asked a few people like, "Oh, what's that sample?" And they like haven't told Yo, me. I learned, and I never heard that. Listen, sa- until, thank I'm, you for putting. I'm gonna me tell on. you how I learned that. I'm gonna tell you how I learned that because there's a website called whosampled.com, and you could type in any song. It'll tell you 
who's, what the song is, what time the sample comes in. So one day I'm home. This is over the, this is like three years ago. And I, I made a, a big post of like my top five favorite Griselda samples. And my man, Josh, shout out to Josh Herm again, saving the day, hit me up within seconds. He's like, yo, you might want to delete that, bro. It's a thing on the underground they call sample snitching. I'm telling you, you don't want to do that. I'm like, oh shit, say no more. I was like, I deleted that yeah. shit quick. And that shit had like a thousand likes in like one minute too because people love that shit. Like, yeah. listen, some posts, you know, I make, they don't, everything's different like of I, course. I understand like not everything hits but i got this instagram shit down pretty well when it comes down to like what i'm doing with my little lane i figured out how to do it pretty well and i did not know about sample snitching so i was happy to delete that shit quickly because i'm not looking to get nobody in no fucking hot water no at all but i'm a fan of that shit so that's the, that's a something i listen to on my own like i can't i can't promote it but yeah they- there's a whole lot of good samples out there and, you know, when it comes down to the music we listen to, hip-hop is, you know, so other than what we yeah. Sheen Gun do, every fucking album I've ever heard is sample-driven. It's crazy, like, samples don't, like, I don't, do you listen to any of the Detroit shit at all? Like, have you ever heard of Shitty Boys? Listen, the only Detroit rapper that I, Boldy J- Is that no, microphone, it, hey, that? Irish, is that microphone plugged in? You can talk into that one. Um... You ever heard of egg, uh, Eastside Egg Roll? He Asian dude, yeah. right? Yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> he better be Asian with that name. <laughs> hey, how about Chinks? That's, huh? that's a crazy name. Or Chinks Drugs? Yeah. Yeah, you ain't, you ain't kidding, actually. I thought it was so funny on fucking, I didn't mean to cut you off, but on uh, when Fat Joe got all his uh, in hot water for the fucking Yo. Wuhan virus line. I was Yo. like, there's a, rapper, there's a rapper on the same album that has a racial slur yeah. as his Literally. name. Like, and and not, not for nothing, and Chinks was actually a, I, I knew him not like well like that, but like, I got to meet him twice, and he showed a lot of love too. You know, rest in peace to that man. But I didn't mean to get all serious and show while we sitting here laughing. But no, no, what's I, the guy you said? What's his fucking name? East Eastside Egg Roll. Eastside Egg Roll. Eastside Egg Roll. He's spitting. He's spitting. He's spitting. He's spitting. He's Asian, but it's on some Detroit shit. Wow. You fuck so, with Mozzie? I do Mozzie fuck do. with Mozzie. Who's Mozzie the other guy? Uh, China China Mac. Oh, it? China Mac. Mozzie's not Asian, but China Mac is. I know Ma- yeah, I know Mozzie ain't Asian. Uh, Ma- I want to shout out All Guns No Butter, too. That's a... Uh... Oh, yo, they be, they be funny as hell. <laughs> he has the funny-ass memes. He's a big Mozzie fan. He's we funny. Go, yeah. He's a funny fucking guy. Funny fucking I don't know him guy. like that, but his, his shit... Oh, yeah, he said... He, I wanted to try to get him on, but he's staying anonymous. He's staying anonymous? Because his shit is crazy. So you gotta, <laughs> you gotta interview him? He could wear, like, a, like his mask. His, co- yeah, his little COVID to, mask. I'm trying to get Big Ghost on. <laughs> Damn, come on, man. <laughs> Even I, I'm listen. No one knows. I don't think fucking Conway knows what the fuck. Vic Spencer's like. the only rapper that shout out Vic Spencer, great rapper. Yeah, where? Uh, but he's the only rapper who's ever met Big Ghost. Really? Yeah. Do we even know what nationality he is? No, but I'm assuming white. I've spoken to him on the phone. No DM. Oh, yeah, I have too. DM. Yeah. You know, um, briefly, nothing yeah. crazy. I don't want to assume race. What a fucking talented fucking producer he is. Yeah, no, I don't want to. I'm just curious what he fucking looks like. I right? am too. Sometimes yeah. you got to put a face to the name. And Kip it, did artwork, and I asked him, like, how did you pick this? And he was like, it was just the most, like, androgynous color I could pick. Like, he yeah, just man. picked. <laughs> I was super happy when um, Sep did the cover for uh, If It Bleeds, It Can Be Killed. The part, the, the alternate mm-hmm. cover. I was very happy to see Sep back in the mix. Because, you know, think about it. When you think about the the fly god imagery you think about the don't get scared now imagery the reject face you know that shit is iconic for real yeah it was an honor for him to come on the podcast how about that was a dope episode oh thank you how about how about uh like squat landing a cover like that's a you're talking about like look at griselda how the fans get integrated into the movement that's why for conway to do an interview with me like they do Mm -hmm. fuck with uh, for you to be able to be in studio like they fuck with people who fuck with them yo shout out to all of them like not for nothing like there's not a you know, I got stories with all of them. Like, like yo, Benny shows me a like crazy love. I sp- spoke to Benny the other day about something. I hooked, uh, hooked up a little fucking Instagram post. Like, it's nothing for me to do. Like, this is what I do. But, um, you know, like, Machine. Like, I talked to Conway, like I said, more than I could have ever even imagined. That's literally my favorite fucking rap of all time is the Machine. So it's kind of crazy to even be speaking to that dude yeah. sometimes. Cause, but then again, like, it makes you realize, like, the older we get, like you know, I'm 34 years old. I yeah. got I got my buddy. He's a 
one of his friends sons is friends with like the St. John's basketball team. He's like, yo, you want to go in the locker room? I'm like, yo, man, they're 18, 19 year old kids, bro. I'm 34. How the fuck I'm going to look going into the locker room? I'm like, hey guys, big fan. Like, you know, it's not the, you know, maybe the Knicks. But, no. Uh, you a basketball fan? No. Not at all? Not really. If you had to pick a team, who you rooting for? I hate this. Like I used to love, uh, this is weird, but I used to love like the Spurs. Oh man. I swear to God, I don't know basketball like that. Like uh, I respect it, though. I'm an o- like I'm an Orioles and Ravens fan because I have a lot of family down in Baltimore and like I've been on the field like for Orioles games. Like I'm on I'm, I'm Camden Yards is a beautiful fucking stadium. I'm an official Buffalo Bills fan these days. I have to be. Mm. They sent me a care package. Shout out to I wanted to go to the game today. Oh man. But shout out to Tony Denise, man. I'm I'm I got a box in the mail one day. He's going to be coming on here, yo, hopefully. Listen, so you got to get Tony on here. Tony, yeah. Tony is one of the best fucking humans I know, but he sent, he hooked it up where I got a box sent to my house, and I opened the shit up, and it had Buffalo Bills Benny gear, and it's, it had a letter. It said, to Sean, welcome to the Bills Mafia. So I said, you know, Jets and Giants, they got, they ain't never, they ain't never show me no love. <laughs> so I'm a Bills fan. I like real yeah. talk. I'm, I'm, you got to root for the Bills now. I feel. Like, I, yeah, you know, no, I fuck with. Like, the I think Bills. everybody, I think every Griselda fan, unless you're a real football fan, like I'm, he's a 49er fan, so he ain't going, he ain't going to agree. He bleeds fucking red and gold. So he, he'd be going to, there's, you know, there's places in New Jersey that have like 49er like spots that you could kick it at. You really? That shit. That's wild. I couldn't believe it. Why? I don't know. I couldn't believe it. He literally would like send me videos on Football Sunday of like a bar filled with like 49er gear. That's like, weird as shit. Weird as fucking shit. Yeah. But, I mean, is that as weird as going to another city like and a bunch of people have Griselda merch on? Like, yo, uh, going to Philly, like shout out Crate Diggers. Uh, if you're in Philly, go to Crate Diggers. It's, I don't know if you guys collect vinyl. But yeah, he has some of the craziest for like I'm not even this Fruit isn't no, yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, I'm boy. not even I don't even wanna be this sounds like a plug, but it's not. He had shit that was like original like OBI Conway for like two hundred dollars oh, or something. And I'm like Yo, what the fuck? That's that's how actually I got my man uh just told me yeah, in Philly. Yeah, yeah. Great diggers. If you could watch his last episode, he 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 interviewed. I had screw tape on in yeah, their he shop. Him in yeah. there. And uh, my boy, I do collect vinyl. Not like, I don't have like, you know, Hitler 2 and Fly got on vinyl. I got stuck with a From King to a God vinyl because I looked out for one of my homies who ended up getting it. You got stuck with it? Well, like, like, you know, I I, I collect the CDs. That's such a funny way to I collect the CDs, but the vinyl game is deadly. So I'm a nice, you know, I'm a nice guy with my homies. I was like, yo, I'll try to get one too. So if you strike out, maybe I'll get it and, you know, you'll you'll get more lines in the water. Well, we both got it. That shit came, and I was like, here's this Conway album. And, like, what am I going to do? I'm going to go fucking sell it to somebody? Oh, so I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I guess I'm going to cop a record player and start collecting, you know, records now. But I try not to really – I collect, like, other genres. Like, I just copped a David Lasley. A David Lasley. People don't even know what the fuck that is. No. He'd be singing in falsetto and shit. I copped a David Lasley record off Discogs for, like, $7 the other day from some dude in Nebraska. I mean, I do like other shit. I just had the uh, Samuel T. Herring from this, like, band Future Islands, yeah. who's, like... It's about, man. They're, like, uh, they, like, do, like, almost, like, a late 80s electro-pop yeah. music, but they're one of my favorite bands. I'm like, a fan of Duran Jones. You ever heard of them? Nah. Duran Jones, I'm... I'm, I'm Put one me of, on. The lead singer of that group, I was watching an Instagram live one day, and they're like, who would you want to work with? This motherfucker said, West Side Gun and Griselda. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? Really? I couldn't believe it. I'll follow him right now. So I really, yeah. his name's Aaron Frazier. And I really tried to, I tried, I like, I, I tried to, like, see if I could make something happen with that, but I didn't go too hard, because like I said, I'm not trying to sit here and, you know, be matchmaker and like, yo, you guys need to work with each other. But I tried to let it be known, put it out there to the universe that, I just followed him. Yeah, he's Aaron Frazier. That's the Word. that's the fucking man right there. So like, I've been listening to a lot of other shit, but you know, my heart and soul is is in this hip hop shit. And, yeah, and this this shit right here is a resurgence of of music. Like I said, we we talked about quantity and quality, and I just told you the best is yet to come. Think about the albums we got coming out this Think year. Think about the next Stove God album. Yo, executive produced by West. Yeah, I mean, I don't know who's on the production. Is he has two. Well, 
A.A. Rashid came on here and announced that he had already done the cover for a project with him and Rock Marcy, so I know Sock that... Sock it to my motherfucking pocket. <laughs> I love A.A. I love his... I love his... Uh, his music? I love his... Have you listened to Dog Food? I have not. That album is one of my favorites, honestly. But I legit listen to... When he's on an album, I do not skip that song on the Griselda album. Mm-hmm. I listen to that shit. You know, like the one on Blind Tell. Yeah. I think Fraud did the beat to the Blind Tells outro that A.A. Rashid talks to. And uh, he's, he's dropping gems. When people, it's funny, when he came on the podcast, people were quoting the Black Hitler intro at me. Because, like, of, because, you know. But look, look how dope but that I, is. that's what I listened, I've listened to that. Mm-hmm. So, like, when I would run, I would put that on repeat just because that's so hard. Like, yeah. if we're talking about someone yeah. talking hard on a beat, nothing, I will rob the fuck Yo. out of a white bitch. Shout out to, shout out to, <laughs> all shout Jews and white people, you owe me money. <laughs> you stole my culture. Yo, it's, make- that's some real shit. Like, he's talking. I know what I look like saying that shit, but AA's not just saying that for no Even reason. Not the show. Show you the show I seen. You on, yeah. you on stage. I seen Sam on stage. Like, oh man, look at my man moving on up out here. It but, was uh, crazy being on stage for Conway and yeah. PA too. S- seeing the cow perform live on stage was a different like was a different experience. Seeing all the lights from from that side of the stage. Yeah. But you know who else uh, would be a great guest for you to have on here? Keisha Plum. I want. To, I've asked her, and it just hasn't worked out. Okay. I did an Instagram live it was like i said i stay behind the scenes for the most part but during the pandemic everybody was doing the instagram lives and i did it one night had like 80 people in that shit i was like i was like all right it's not bad it's not bad and she hit me on it like you want to go like we did a little split screen shit yeah yeah and i was like yo is there anything you could tell us about like and she's like you want to know something and she was about to tell us like something juicy about god don't make mistakes and the fucking internet kicked out like literally (laughs) she's like and and then it just froze up, and everybody, still to this day, we don't know what the fuck she was going to say. That happened to me when I had Fuck Next Week on. He's in the studio with Westside. And he's in uh, when they went, went to, like, the Bahamas or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's about to show Westside and Mock recording, and the internet cut out. Yo. You remember, like... remember when West? I'll tell you a funny story. Remember when West opened his store, the Buffalo Gallery? Yeah, were like, you there for the opening? Here's the thing. Like, it's, ha- it's hard, man. I work full time. Yeah. You know what I mean? It, it, it's tough to get away and, and do shit like that. I, I Damn near. I don't even got time to take my wife on a vacation. I, you know, hey, babe, I'm going away to Buffalo for the weekend when I got two kids. She, my wife works on the weekends. So I usually... Watch the kids a lot on the weekends. I'm in full dad mode, bro. Thank you so, for doing this. Yeah, and uh, and uh, my boy Wells and my boy CB, they went to Buffalo and and they're there. Okay. And oh, not only are they there, then they 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 are in the store like helping him set up before the grand opening. So this is the day before, and I'm at work. I'm literally on, I'm fucking making phone calls and they fucking Facetime me. And who's fucking on the FaceTime but West Side Gun? And he goes, he goes, yo, man, I thought you were coming. Because I was speaking to Tony a couple weeks earlier. Tony was in the gallery helping set up. And he's like, you come? I'm like, yo, I'm going to try to get there. I guess like it kind of felt like I was going to be there. Yeah. He had the fucking, he had something. He, I, I think it might have been the sneakers or something. But he's like, I, I had something for you, but you got to come to Buffalo to get it. I was like, oh, my God. Like, to hear Wes tell you that, I was like, oh, that shit stung, bro. Because, you know, and then later on that night, they had Conway's house. They FaceTimed me in Conway's kitchen. I'm like, motherfucker. I'm, you know, I'm over here changing diapers. But shout out to the kids. But, um, you know, that's not the first time. That's I, more important for of you. Of course. Of that's course. Way, if we're talking oh, yeah, about I'm, longevity, if yeah, we're talking about, like, it's Family funny. First, I had a chance to hang with Boldy at that show. The family tra- Chase Fetty show. Okay, shout out Chase Fetty. Uh, yeah, what, if we're talking about good people, yeah. he's one of the nicest. Absolutely, also amazing rapper. Absolutely. But like, I I don't have a family, so this is this sounds really like no, dumb for me it's to okay. say, but it's like you have to make certain decisions yeah. on yourself. Like I had to take care of some family shit, and I was like, no, I'd rather do shit. that than like you know, like like rush it for a good experience. Real it's just, quick, it's just a fact, and and that comes with, especially with me. That's that's a my, I got a five-year-old and a nine-year-old, so it's, like, right in the prime of craziness. Yeah. But I love that shit. But, like, I remember my homie went to um, a big wrestling fan. Uh, he didn't even know. This is, like, four or five years ago. He didn't know who Wes was at the time. And I told him that uh, Wes is going to be a Wally Mania. And, and he's like, oh, I'm going. I'm like, yo, you got to find Westside Gun. And at this time, I never spoke to Wes in my life. 
uh, I'm running a fan page, probably has like a thousand followers at the time for him. It's when the, the page is pretty new. And I wake up at like three in the morning to f- FaceTimes going off on my phone. I got no shirt on, my fucking head is crazy. I pick that shit up and it's fucking West. Like, like literally, I'm like, it's, it's such a blur in my mind, but I'll never forget it. I'm like, what up, what up, what up? I was like, oh my God. I was like, yo, it was quick, but he stood there with my man. They called me like three times. And like, my man always tells me to this day, he's like, yo, he really wanted to reach you. Like, he wanted to take the time out to speak to you. Like, cause I didn't answer a few times. So imagine you're with West Side Gun, like, hold on, he's going to answer, I swear. Yeah. And he took the time out and he, you know, he, he gave me that moment. That, it's just like little things like that allow me to come to the studio. You know what I mean? Allow me to run the page and, and freely, cause trusting me, knowing that I'm gonna represent the fucking. Cause at the end of the day, it's it's his baby. Yeah. It's his fucking baby, and I gotta come correct. I gotta make sure everything I do is is according to the, the their plan. You know, even if I don't know it, I gotta kind of you know understand what's going on. Yeah, but especially, I mean, I knew this beforehand, and anyone watching you do it mm-hmm. knows that. But like, you do have a love for it. You're like, yeah, you're a supporter. Yeah, I do. I mean, you're not a fan. <laughs> like you're a supporter. Your family at that point. Like you're, you are part of the Griselda team. Like. Listen, I'm, I'm not gonna front, man. To hear something like that, like that's humbling. Like I've been this year alone and past. You know, I was on, at a Boldy concert backstage with him. I was at the Benny show. Uh, Tony and Jake hooked hooked me all the way up. You know what I mean? Like I'm on stage concerts. Fucking this, that, and the third. <laughs> Who could fucking ask for that? Like you know what I mean? Like that's that's. You know, you ever think you'd be on stage? Like, I, no. I see it, but you already seeing you on stage? That shit makes me happy because, like, you know, we come from the same place as far as being a supporter of the movement. Yeah. And, you know, we're not, we're, we're out here making it happen in different ways, you know? Like, you got to get in where you fit in. And me personally, with this page, I'll just be having fun with it. You know, I'm, I'm for the past week, I've been trying to put Boldy's face on James Worthy <laughs> and Benny on fucking Magic Johnson, and I can't get this shit to fit. Just, <laughs> But that's, like... I'm bored at home. I'm just like, I'm having fun with this that shit. That Larry you know? King shit was yeah, hilarious. Yeah, that Larry King shit was funny, right? I, how I liked it. I yeah. thought that. Uh, no, I had a hook. You know, listen. It's the least I could do, bro. You know, you wanted you wanted to make sure that, you know, I wanted to make sure that, that you know I appreciate you because at the end of the day, you know, it's, it, it's a mutual feeling. I know you, you said, you know, I'm, I might have X amount of followers, but at the end of the day, bro, there's only one person that fucking asked me to chop it up, and I appreciate <laughs> that. And I wouldn't just sit down with anybody. Not that, you know, like I said, I don't have, like, offers that I'm denying, but it was a no-brainer, bro. Like, I because I, I, I see how you are. You ain't here to ask me no funny questions. Or, <laughs> not that there's any, you know, there's nothing to hide, you know. Yeah. It's all. Well, we just had a conversation. Yeah, and, and the whole movement, you know. I hope one day we could be, you know, at, at a show together, you know, outside of, you know, and, and, and get to connect in a different way. But, like, my man here, my, this, is my, this is my brother for life. I talk to him every day, and it's all off the strength of this movement. You know what I mean? I got homies that I've known since I'm five, six years old. I trust him more. Yeah, but I'm happy that I know you guys now from this. Yeah. And, like, that's real. Jay, yeah. my boy Jay, I met him. We were the first two people in line at the Benny the Pop-Up Shop, Benny the Butcher Pop-Up Shop in New York. And I trust him more than most people. And, like... That's the first time I met... I met the Pop-Up Shops. Remember those Pop-Ups, bro? Yeah. Back in the day? That's before shit got, like, so crazy out of hand for the label, like... I remember I met Conway and we- Conway and Benny at a Conway Pop Shop in Brooklyn. Benny pulled up. I don't mean to be rude. I'm listening to you. I just don't want to make sure that uh, China's. No sweat. No sweat. And you guys are also welcome to hang out if you want for a little bit. Oh, good looks. I appreciate that. Yeah, I remember Benny pulled up. This is like Conway just uh, had more steroids dropped. It's so like Conway, like, you know, he's still coming up. They're signed to Shady, though, everything. And I see like a. a car pull up and Benny gets out pops the trunk grabs the CDs out of his trunk like there's like eight people online outside like yo that's Benny the Butcher like you know what I mean but yeah. like he was with India like nobody he was a year later I think he sold out SOBs and at that time he was literally like coming up Butcher on steroids just dropped you know what I mean and like he came out I'll never forget he came out and he's like so you the motherfucker that's putting everyone onto my shit that's exactly what he said to me. I was like, yo, man, that's, that's what's up. And, and he kicked it with us for like five, ten minutes. You know, everyone's smoking, everyone was drinking and shit. You know, and I'll never forget, like, we went, security was acting crazy at the pop-up shop. But, like, it was quick, but it was it was a moment. You know what I mean? Every time you meet these guys, yeah. you know, this shit don't last forever. You know what I mean? It's it's a moment right now. This is this is a this is a, a special time for hip-hop. And it's a special time to be part of it. Like, what we're experiencing, what we're getting to do, not everyone gets to experience this shit. Nah. I mean, no, nah, and Benny is, I want to give him, he's a really, like, 
good dude. Like we showed our love He's to amazing. Wes and Khan, but I want to show it like Benny on his birthday. On his birthday with India, there's naked bitches twerking in front of him. He's sitting next to India. He gets up and comes over to me and says, I really like fuck with what you're doing and I want to help you get to the top. And he means it. Yeah. You know, he'd be putting people in position and, and like not for nothing. Benny is, I have so much stuff, Benny drops that was sent just off the strength. Like, once again, shout out to Tony and Jake. These guys, like, that lunchbox with the CD, I was the first person with that shit. You know what I mean? And yeah. I, like, I post that shit on the page and that shit went crazy. Like, like, I appreciate little things like that. You know? Like, they don't have to do that. They don't have to do it. I'm, I'm going to do what I do regardless. Yeah. But the fact that they do do that, because I got to tell you, like, the people over at the Black Soprano family, they really, they really been looking out since the jump for me in every way, shape, and form. Yeah. Like, making sure I'm more than good. Shout out City Boy. Yo, shout out to him, yo, right? Shout out to City Boy. We, we had a nice conversation, me and City, at the, at the Conway show. I had a nice conversation with City that I'll never forget. And because and, he, he's, that's the, that's the dame dash to, to this operation, you know yeah. what I mean? To the as far as the Black Soprano family goes, yeah. like you know what I mean, he's really out here, he's doing big things, and that guy, you could people could learn a lot from him. You know, shout out to everyone, shout out to Akmoga. I think he's he's got a oh a show in Jersey tomorrow. Yeah, by the time this oh it's today yeah it's today right it's today. But it'll be up. Yeah, I'd I'd give it a super plug, but it probably by the time this gets yeah, heard, that shit'll be over. But Man, shout out to him. Thank you for doing this. Yo, you already know, bro. This is it means a lot. I appreciate you. Thank you for having me. Thank you for coming out. Yeah, shout out to Wells, bro. Yeah, I'm happy I know you guys now, cause now like I love building. Like I'll see you guys at shows. 100%. Now we know each other. Like 100. percent This is dope. Thank you guys for listening. Where do you do you want to plug shit? Do you want to plug shit? Yo, Griselda Records fan page. Yeah, plug it. What we got here? Take them, grab the mic. What we got? We got Fast Money Farms. Fast Money Farms. Fast Money Farms. Yo, my man Wells. Yo. My man, my man out here doing big things. Yo, shout out to Bucked Up Podcast, doing big things. I see the sponsorships coming in. Yeah. That's what I like to see. Hopefully some more coming soon. Hopefully this shit's getting bigger. And uh, we got some really cool shit coming. Like, honestly, I, I don't, I don't want to spoil shit, you know? You can't. You know, listen, the game's to be sold. Oh, and I told. do have to say one funny story before we wrap up is why the OT episode is not coming out. Oh, OT no. the real. He's another one. He showed me super love a yeah. couple of weeks ago. We grew up five streets. Of, I mean, he's older than I am, but he grew up in Fitchburg before he moved to Philly. Really? He grew up in Massachusetts up until he was 17 when he had to go on the Yo, run. Why is the episode not dropping? So we did, it, we did it in a hotel. I probably shouldn't. We did it in a hotel in a room that we didn't ask to do it in. Mm -hmm. And like half, like 15 minutes into the interview, a guy came in and was like, you can't do this. You have to get out. And then we were like, but let us just do like 15 more minutes. And he's like, it smells like weed, whatever. Oh. And I don't edit the podcast, so I kept that in it. Uh -huh. And then it was just like, we felt rushed for the last half yeah. and shit. So like, it's You'll a get good, it right. it'll be released years from now. Mm -hmm. Just like I did in a three hour episode tripping on mushrooms with me fucks that like. <laughs> I wa Yo, I watched the, uh, I didn't see that one. That one was, I saw the most recent one. Yeah, but we, he, we just aren't releasing that one because we went pretty deep. I was, <laughs> we got emotional yeah, at the end. You guys were talking about yeah, it. You yeah. started screaming on him and some shit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I was yelling at his face, bro. <laughs> Legit. Oh, All right. But thank you for coming oh, on. I appreciate you. Likewise.